about how he's feeling. One, is he still on a, a come down after the World Cup? And two, does he actually still want to be there? Is he thinking more and more now about potentially heading somewhere yeah, else? Like, again? I think it's a long time, you know, when you see how they play. You know, I mean, he's a world class player. You, know, you can see he can do everything. He can stay in the box, he can drop off either. He, he's got that touche and finesse as well, you know. And, uh, and it's difficult for, for someone who likes to be involved in the game, someone who's waiting in the box, you know, some chances just to have that kind of play, that kind of uh, collective performance you know of course he, he should be a, a, not a little bit a, a lot frustrated by the performance that you can and you can see something that they're slipping down you know uh, slowly but surely you know like the other teams you know like Liverpool we'll see Chelsea after and Man United are going you know out of second third gear you know and Tottenham you know the fact is they can't see too much so they cannot go nowhere with that if you look at the game last week against Brentford you know, the chances, the header he scores, Kane, give him a service. He had another header where he just flicked it on, it hit the crossbar. It's, it's not difficult. You've got to, when you have a star player like that, what is, a, what is a goal scorer, you have to build a team around him and you have to create chances. Son's not even in the game at the moment. You know, and those two are vitally important. We, do, we, we, didn't, we, we, we rarely spoke about them in, in today's game, but exactly what Didier said, no creativity at all, no energy, bad. It wasn't, it wasn't a good performance at all. We